A great man is hard on himself, a small man is hard on others. The people may be made to follow a path of action, but they may not be made to understand it. In old days men studied for the sake of self-improvement. Nowadays men study in order to impress other people. A man is great not because he hasn't failed. A man is great because failure hasn't stopped him. Our greatest glory isn't in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. It doesn't matter how slowly you go as long as you don't stop. By three methods we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection, which is noblest. Second, by imitation, which is easiest. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest. He who learns but doesn't think is lost. He who thinks but doesn't learn is in great danger. As the water shapes itself to the vessel that contains it, so a wise man adapts himself to circumstances. Remember even when alone, that the divine is everywhere. A wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has pride without dignity. I was complaining that I had no shoes, till I met a man who had no feet. Every house guest brings you happiness, some when they arrive, and some when they are leaving. Cultivate the root, the leaves and branches, will take care of themselves. Happiness is not at the top of the mountain, but in how to climb. Don't worry if others don't understand you, instead worry if you don't understand others. Keep it simple and focus on what matters. Don't let yourself be overwhelmed. When it is obvious that the goals can't be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. Expect much from yourself and little from others, and you will avoid incurring resentments. We are so busy doing the urgent that we don't have time to do the important. If you chase to rabbits, you catch none. It is easy to hate and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve and bad things are very easy to get. Of course you want to be rich and famous. It's natural. Wealth and fame are what every man desires. The question is, what are you willing to trade for it? Don't wish for quick results, nor look for small advantages. If you seek quick results, you won't reach the ultimate goal. If you are led astray by small advantages, you will never accomplish great things. The virtuous man is driven by responsibility. The non-virtuous man is driven by profit. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach, your full potential. These are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. A reasonable man adjusts himself to the world. An unreasonable man expects the world to adjust itself to him. Therefore all progress is made by unreasonable people. Absence of sex for long time turns a person into a neurotic.